Hello, Narda here. Oh, welcome back to Path of Exile Prophecy League. We are currently running around with five prophecies and we are on our way to Merveil. So let's recap. You will be attacked by a rogue exile when opening a strongbox. You will encounter and slay a rogue exile who calls forth a warband. You will encounter a powerful golem in a vowel side area and defeat it. You will encounter corrupted animals in a southern forest and slay them. You will be ambushed by several enemies upon slaying a foe. So things are gonna get interesting in our road towards Merveil. So at the end of the last episode we picked up Ice Nova. Which uh, for now is going to be a stand-in for Vortex. Even though well, Frostbolt is actually pretty potent. But if things start to surround me, I uh, might cast it just to uh, have something else to, uh, to cast. For variety's sake. I've linked it within, with added cold damage. Just uh, because everything currently has that, and it's the only really viable option to link things with. Uh, also, we of course have Frost Bomb, which kind of literally is the bomb. Oh, Coward prophecy complete. A show of force reveals their true intentions. Oh, yeah. This almost had a, a Beyond League feel to it. I really liked it. Okay, in terms of leveling. We got our path to Cold Hearted Calculation and we have Coordination. So next up we are either gonna grab a Growth and Decay to get some Life Regen. Given that we don't have a lot of Energy Shield, I think that might not be the worst of ideas. And after that, we're gonna drop down thanks to the Viper all the way up down to Void Barrier and Blood Drink to get ourselves some extra defenses. And that's it. So now it says that Hidden Reinforcements Prophecy has been fulfilled. And that was just one of them. Sorry. Is it me or did the game just lose its audio? Or is this a very powerful silence effect that just affected me? I'm uh, I'm going with uh, Something creative just happened. Not quite sure if it's just on the receiving end or if it's on the on the game's end. But we'll see. After I'm done recording this episode, I'll just uh, pause uh, or just restart the game, and we'll see. Let's have a quick look. Well. Yeah. Should all be good. Worst possible outcome here, of course, is that the entire sound system just cut out. And I'm now moving my lips, but you're not even hearing what I'm saying. That's about the worst possible outcome. But other than that, game volume is set to pretty low anyway. Hello there, Amarissa, daughter of Merveil. So confess that's pretty fair. Potentially interesting both actually. Hmm. 10, 22% extra damage as well as one to four fire damage added to spells. Casting speed, mana, that's gonna replace our offhand weapon. Definitely. Um, let's move clarity over here. 
put this in, let's see, 195, up from 178. That's a, that's a fair increase. Also, let's put Clarity back on. So, Silkfest, it's a three link plus 27 energy shield is pretty, di pretty darn nice. Right. Let's keep going. So I did manage to craft a cold resistance ring. Um, I couldn't actually buy one yet, so I had to resort to selling a blue gem, which I had put in my stash with a iron ring. It was just a plain white iron ring, so they're really cheap, but it's also a good reason to actually keep a couple of them handy. If you sell them, then you get a blue uh, or a, a sapphire ring in return, just a, a white one. And then I used the Orb of Alchemy I got them earlier. And that works pretty darn well. The roll was actually nice. Now some mana, a bit of energy shield, a bit of lightning resistance. As a first attempt, it's okay. So we're now at 36 cold resistance. Given that I'm playing rather offensively as a, as a build, I think I can get away with it. So higher difficulties, uh, probably less forgiving, but for now, uh, normal, the game is really, really forgiving. Boosting your defenses, of course, is going to be uh, a good thing. It's better to be safe than sorry, as the saying goes, with good reason. Especially on hardcore, because once you're sorry, you have to restart. Or continue playing on standard league, but... Where's the fun in that? Also, two more coins. We actually have four prophecies, so we could boost it up to six. Brugia, daughter of Merville. Well, not anymore. Oh, 15% spell damage. That's a, that's a boost. On the other hand, this one is up to 22% plus some fixed damage that gets boosted by the spell damage. As well as by all the elemental bonus we got. So the 1 to 4 fire damage is already 2 to 7 at this point, so we are almost doubling it. Okay, so far so good. I think we're gonna walk in on Mervale on a pretty low level. Level 14 is... Oh. Okay, post bomb. And then some of these orbs. Oh. Here, have a bomb, have some uh, frost bolts. As long as we keep her within the range of the bomb, it's gonna be good. Oh. Here, have a bomb. No, I don't want your ice bears. Here, have my frost bolts. They're way better than ice bears. You're using outdated skills, lady. And I don't want them. Also, let me not stand in those water torrents. Oi! Ooh, double frost bombs. Where is she? Where is she? There is she. As you see, damage-wise, she's not that impressive yet. And we got her. Fine circlet is actually a very low-level item, so I should not actually look at it for using it. So is this, this any more interesting? 24 energy shield, that is definitely interesting. Some resists, some life, some intelligence. Uh, this might be worth switching to. Now we also get a block chance. But that's going to be in next level. Um, let's see. We're going to make a quick town stop. Because we have prophecies to trigger in the next area. And we picked up some silver coins. So let's clear out our inventory. I'm still just going to sell rares I don't really care about. 
22 life is just not enough. Uh, so convinced. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna verify it. So it's never gonna be useful. This is also too low to actually use. So we stash all the other things. So this is now a wand that is maybe useful for leveling. This we will actually switch into. And we have another two prophecies to pick up. The thing is, because the sound seems to be dead, we're not gonna get it read out to us, of course. Um, there's no toggle to turn it on and off, so that's also gonna be annoying. So I'm gonna just read it out loud and just hope that the audio is just completely gone, because otherwise I'll be overlapping with Navali. So, here we go. An adversary, Sling, briefly lives on in the lessons taught to the Slayer. That's for a hunter's lesson. You will slay a powerful foe and gain its power. Ooh, headhunter mode. For a single powerful foe. The farmer's time came long ago. His ruined home, the site of a dark harvest. Fellow at last, you will fight waves of risen farmers <laughs> among the ruins of a house in Crossroads. Okay, so this is uh, an Act 2 skill as well. But we're gonna go there, so that's gonna be good. Good, good, good. Caverns of Anger. Southern Forest. So we will face There was one that, that would specifically trigger here. Okay, we'll see. Ah, right, there. So this one actually triggers area specific. You will destroy the Feral Lord's animals. That's the Feral Lord 1. So, well, prophecy says I will, so it is going to happen. I think prophecies are rather convenient that way. And you don't have to doubt the outcome. It has been prophesied that I will win. So, because we know what is gonna happen, we will, of course, be cautious. Prophecy doesn't mean we have to, uh, we have a carte blanche to act stupid. Because the prophecy basically says that we will win because we played it carefully. Because we took all the precautions required to secure the victory and not die trying. Oh, this might count as a powerful foe. No, it didn't. But running around permanently with seven prophecies is going to be fun. So no, the, the difficulty level is going to be controllable. Also, these spiders don't belong here. They might be the corrupted mobs. Or it might be just a, a bit of shuffling. So as I said, the, the difficulty level, because you can't use to seal the prophecies, well, it requires coins of course, but you can seal prophecies, so that, that gives you uh, at least a little bit of control over what the heck happens. I'm a gardener, clearing the weeds so that the crops may grow. Uh, I think we don't get the gardener thing until the crossroads though, mister. Okay, so they use Viper Strike. So if I get hit, they do poison damage. Well, melee attack, of course. Ooh, greater mana. I approve. There's a ape behind me. Who's whip? Hello there. Here, I have a bomb. 
Might have pierced, but Ooh, cool. we gained Hunter's Lesson. I gained the mod of a, a rare for myself. So there's a lot of feral mobs here. It's an echo of something. Wonder if the their lord, echo of the verdant, if the the actual feral lord is also going to be here, or if that might be at the end of the chain. Because this is part one of many. Well. Not sure if it's many, many, but could be two, could be three, could be four, five, whatever makes sense. I'm gonna backtrack a little bit since I think this is just a bend in the road. And I do want to do uh, mostly full clear of all those uh, verdant echo things for the prophecy. Because it's been prophesized, I will do this. So that means I will, will do this. It really is quite that simple. Okay, clear that. We push on. More spiders. Also, trees stop blocking my perspective. Okay, we found the camp already. That means the exit is over there. Well, we're almost there. Okay, nothing over here. You will destroy Feral Lord's animals. Okay. I am not quite feeling it. Did I skip something? That would be annoying. If they had like coward AI or something like that. That would be annoying. There's no count or anything. I Nothing mapped out on the map or nothing highlighted on the map. But with these trees, it is of course very easy to miss a mob or two. Because it's very easy for them to get obscured and if they don't see you, they'll never chase you. So we zig, we zag, we kill them all. Because it has been prophesized. Or something. Okay, so people have just reached <laughs> the same area on the cruel difficulty. Oh, well, that's racers for you. They race. Or is it a bit back from the start? Seriously, this is a first. Oh, that is on me for not going here, but we completed the first link of the prophecy. So it does not go back in here. We really do have to pick up the next prophecy as a proper prophecy. Let's see. Oh, well. And then we walk to town, and then we're gonna have a, a look where Navali is standing in Act 2 town. Because she, sh well, she will be in every town, in every difficulty. She will always be there, following you like a shadow. She's gonna be a bit like the Deckard Kane of Path of Exile. So hello there. And so your path leads you here, exile. 
Be careful where you step, for as one foot leads the other, so too does each foot leave its mark, a trace of what was, a guide to what will be. So well now we have the Feral Lords 1 here. So, when the rain stopped, the Lord fed his farms with the blood of the beasts, but blood carries corruption with it, and the crops soon towered, monstrous and thorned. In the thick jungle of his own making, it was not only he who turned feral. Interesting. So we no longer have any silver coins. Oh. And we can equip this one. We now have a shield. And with that, I'm gonna thank you very much for watching. I'm uh, pretty eager to reset this sound situation and hopefully, hopefully it's not gonna trigger again. But we'll see. It's a, it's a new expansion. So launch day bugs are, well, they're gonna happen. And if it's only the sound system that cuts out every once in a while until they fix it, I'm not complaining too much. So thank you for watching and see you again next episode. Bye bye.